A male patient in a tropical environment has eosinophilia, acute inflammatory episodes of fever, lymphadenitis, and lymphangitis. Okay, this is not considered to be a definitive diagnostic feature to determine what is causing the disease. On blood film examination, what is observed? Microphylaria with a tail tip free of nuclei. Which organism cause these particular features? So obviously, fever, lymphadenitis, lymphangitis, they all are features of what? Acute filariasis. Okay, and they have shown up this particular picture that the tail tip is free of nuclei. And that is a typical feature of what? Vuchuria bancrofti, elephant TSS. Fine. So that is the filariasis uh, in which you observe this microfilaria. Uh, mostly in the nocturnal examination you do because uh, it loves to come in the blood in the night time. Otherwise, you have to go for what? DEC provocative test. Okay. And here only I like to tell you that uh, another one that is the Brugia malai. Brugia malai, when this does the filariasis and all, how you identify this particular one? You look out for the tail tip again, and the tail tip is having terminal 2 nuclei. Okay, what is present in that? That is the terminal 2 nuclei. So, this is the characteristic difference between the like uh, the uh, normal one that is Vuchiria Bancrofti one and the Brugia malai stuff. That this particular microfilaria is having what tail tip having terminal 2 nuclei, whereas that is having what tail tip free of nuclei. Besides that, uh, there was a recent question that uh, in which particular one, like uh, in the uh, chronic filariasis stage, uh, in the scrotum and all, what uh, like an hydrothel patient and all, what you can get. So when you go over the scrotal USG and all, you see a dancing worm sign. So that is there important. Besides that, you can get elephant TSS, okay, granuloma breast, the chyle comes in the urine that is termed as chyluria, albuminuria, albumin comes in the urine. And uh, the drug of choice for this is uh, obviously, you know, it is uh, DEC, diethyl carbazin. But for the chronic filariasis, you have to like go for surgery and all. That is also there. Okay. And uh, investigation of choice, if somebody asks you, then nowadays, PCR is preferred for the Vuchulia bancrofti. Okay. Vuchulia bancrofti, you prefer for Vuchulia bancrofti, you prefer for PCR. Investigation of choice is PCR. Okay, guys, so these all important things regarding the this particular one you need to know. And what is the infective form? Infective form is flariform larva. Which particular mosquito is mostly involved? The culex. Okay, so they can ask, they can give the picture of culex. Okay, is it the only culex which can spread it? No, ADs can also do it, anopheles can also do it, Mansonia can also do it. In fact, all of them they can do it, but mostly what does? That is the culex. Okay, so this is there, guys, uh, regarding the various images.